All right, just to show you how long it takes to make a line on this thing, let me go ahead and add a little bit up here. Very carefully, not too close, but not too far. And that happens, apparently. Lights on fire, fire lights things on, apparently. And, uh, there we go. Kind of takes very careful proximity to any of, any paper contact. Right now I'm just able to do some kind of basic line work, but I hope that as I get better at this, that I'll figure out how to do more smooth lines, to do shading in a better way than I've been doing it here, which is kind of blotchy. And I would love to get good at this. I mean, the fire art is something that I've always done with Vives, but, um, you know, that wasn't really art, that was more of an offering, but same principle applied. Now I had to get used to creating channels, I had to get used to creating, um, you know, the right amount of gasoline, kerosene, lighter fluid, whatever I was using, light it at the right place, not cover things that I didn't want to burn in, in any lighter fluid or have it anywhere near um, the Veves. But uh, in this case, it's more, you know, of course, burning the paper. And um, I'm actually looking forward to getting better at this kind of art. Uh, I see a lot of potential in some of the stuff I could create. And uh, hey, I really hope you like this video. Um, I'll add this in with the, uh, with the rest of the pieces of the video that I'm about to add. But uh, hey, thank you very much for watching. Hey everyone, so thank you very much for watching this video. I don't usually do art videos, but I actually really enjoy making art videos. Now, I usually don't do them because I have a lot of other thoughts in my mind and I want to try and help the world as much as possible from my, you know, tiny bit of influence that I have here on YouTube. And, um, you know, art is kind of a personal hobby when I'm not you know, researching spirituality, trying to understand myself, the nature of reality, and trying to transmit that to you. But art is, is a passion of mine. And, um, you know, I've, I've done my own tattoos. I've learned how to be a tattoo artist by practicing on myself, and I've gotten much better and corrected <laughs> a lot of the tattoos that I messed up early on. And uh, I spent dozens and dozens of hours working on my own tattoos, so um, I kind of taught myself that. And um, I really like to try new things in art. Uh, I really like to try to figure out how to work with different media and different, um, you know, utensils or different um, uh, materials. Um, now, this video that you just watched is one that I've, I've never done before. I've never even tried fire art, and this is what I produced. Um, now, when I say fire art, you know, I've, I've worked with uh, making designs with cornmeal and, um, and lighter fluid and gasoline and kerosene and uh, trying to create channels and then creating details with coffee grounds. But as far as paper goes, this is the first time that I've ever created art with fire on paper. Now, the, what I used is a butane torch uh, kind of device, and uh, it was pretty effective. You can even lock it and make, and, you know, make sure that uh, it stays on, even if you're not holding down the trigger. Um, but it was really cramping my hand up. I would not recommend it. Um, you know, it's a good way to start and figure out how to you know, work with the lines, but I highly recommend that... Well, I can't even really recommend anything right now because this is completely new to me, but I think that a torch lighter, a torch grill lighter, not just the one that puts the flame, but a torch grill lighter would work much better. I'm going to try that next time. I might even work on this piece some more, but um, uh, it's, it's, it's much harder to shade with fire because you're trying not to catch <laughs> the paper on fire, but you still want to you know, provide the proper shading and uh, line work is very blotchy. So, um, you know, I think that this is good for the first attempt, but this is really just practice. This is practice for what I'm going to do in the future and I'm going to get better at this. And I thought I might share with you, um, the, you know, the first time that I tried fire art, you know, well, drawing with fire at any rate. Um, but, you know, if you like videos like this, art videos or videos that I try different kinds of art, if, you, uh, if you're interested in this particular uh, uh, media, then feel free to shoot down in the comment section below. Let me know, you know, if you want me to produce more videos like this or different kinds of art that you want me to try to, you know, produce.
uh, or if um, you know you rather just see me on a spiritual level. Whatever you think, put it down in the comment section below. I really appreciate all comments. I try to get to every single one of them and at least respond in some way, even if it's just a thumbs up. But uh, speaking of thumbs up, feel free to hit that thumbs up down there. It really helps out the channel. And uh, thank you for watching, and I hope to see you on my channel in the future.